good morning students in the last class we have started the lesson the emperor's new clothes and i think you have remembered the story till where we have completed so what is the story about yes once there lived uh, there lived an emperor he was very fond of new clothes he spent his money on getting new clothes for himself one day two men came to his court they said they could make the most beautiful cloth in the world for the emperor the emperor was very much pleased with their words they also told the emperor that their cloth was so special that only wise people could see it but fools could not the emperor thought by wearing clothes made with that cloth he could see who were wise and who were fools in the in his kingdom so the emperor gave them a lot of money and told them to begin their work at once the two men were given a special room for their work in that room they set up two looms they asked to be working but there was nothing on the looms they asked the king to give them the finest silk and the purest gold thread the king did so but they put those in their bags and acted working at the empty looms until late at night one day the king sent his old minister to the weavers to know how they were getting on with his cloth the minister entered their room he felt surprised to see nothing on the looms and the men doing nothing the weavers asked the minister how the cloth they made was the minister thought that if he said the truth he would be treated as a fool so though he could see nothing there he said that the cloth was very splendid so till here we have completed our lesson in the last class today we will be completing the remaining part of the lesson if you see in the textbook now the emperor thought he would like to see the cloth so he called his officers and went with them to the weavers room isn't the cloth beautiful said the old minister pointing to the empty looms how is this said the emperor to himself i can see nothing at all am i a fool oh it's beautiful said the emperor aloud so what happened the emperor thought that means emperor thought to go to the room of the weavers and see the cloth so what did he do he called his officers and he went to the weavers room along with the officers so when he went when he went to the room of the weavers the old minister said isn't the cloth beautiful so he was asking the emperor that isn't the cloth beautiful pointing to the empty looms so the emperor thought to himself how is it means because he can't see anything on the loom and he and he thought means he was questioning to himself that i can't see anything on the loom means i am i a fool and he thought like that and he said it's beautiful because as a uh, old minister was also lying because if he say he can't find any cloth on the loom people will treat him as a fool that's why he was behaving as if he was seeing the cloth on the loom in the same way the emperor also pretended to say that the cloth is beautiful all the officers looked keenly they saw nothing on the looms but they all said it's very beautiful for the great procession next week said the old minister kindly wearing robes made of this cloth the emperor agreed so what they are saying when the emperor said the cloth is beautiful all the officers looked keenly means they were observing clearly and they they saw nothing on the looms 
but what all they said they said it's very beautiful and uh, immediately the old minister said for the great procession next week so this cloth means this cloth is for the great procession which is going to be organized in the next week procession means a group or crowd of people advancing in art so kindly wear robes made of this cloth so the old minister was saying that kindly wear robes robes means a long loose outer garment a dress of range so he is asking to wear those dress which is made of this cloth on the great procession so for that the emperor agreed and the weavers worked harder than ever at last they said the cloth was ready they cut in the air with a huge pair of scissors they stitched the clothes with needles without any thread in them see they cried at last the emperor's new clothes are ready so what happened the weavers the weavers worked harder than ever means they are pretending that as if they are working hard isn't it so they worked hard and at the last they said the cloth was ready and they cut in the air with a with a huge pair of scissors means they are pretending as if they are cutting the cloth with the huge pair of scissors and they stitched the clothes using that cloth they were stitching clothes with needles without any thread in it so there is no thread in the needle but they are stitching the cloth see they cried at last so after stitching and cutting all those things they have cried at last means they have said that the emperor's new clothes are ready the emperor went to the weavers with his officers the weavers raised their arms in the air and said these are the trousers and this is the coat so what happened the emperor went to the weaver weaver weavers with his officers and the weavers raised their hands in the air and what did they say these are the trousers and these are the coat and this is the coat so it's so light said one of them so one of the weaver he was telling that it is so light this dress is very light you won't even feel the cloth said the other so one of the weaver said it is so light and the other weaver is telling that you won't even feel the cloth means when you wear you you can't even feel the cloth so that's the beauty of it said one officer yes said all the others that's the beauty of it but they couldn't see anything there was nothing to see so immediately when they said that you can't feel the weight of the cloth also one of the officers said that is the beauty of this cloth then immediately others also said that's the beauty of it but no one can see anything over there nothing to see because they the weavers have pretended isn't it while your majesty take off your clothes said the men then you can put on your new clothes the emperor took off all his clothes the men made a show of putting new clothes on him the emperor stood in front of a mirror and turned round and round how well his majesty looks in his new clothes cried all the officers so what happened one of the weavers said your majesty take off your clothes take off means remove your clothes they then you can put on put on means then wear then you can wear your new clothes then what did the emperor do he took off all his clothes and the men made a show of putting new clothes on him and after that emperor stood in front of a mirror and he turned around and he turned round and round while he was doing that 
all the officers were telling that how well his majesty looks in his new clothes then the emperor walked along in the procession people in the streets cried how beautiful the emperor's new clothes are but he's go he's got nothing on at all said the little child and one person said to the other he has nothing on at all he has nothing on as he has nothing on cried all the people the emperor felt unhappy he knew that the people were right he had nothing on but the procession had to go on so what happened then the emperor started walking along in the procession and the people in the streets cried means shouted saying that how beautiful the emperor's new clothes are then in that crowd a little child shouted said that but he has got nothing on at all means that small child has said that he didn't wear any clothes so when when the child said one after the other all the people in the crowd are telling to themselves that he has nothing on at all like that he has nothing on he has nothing on so like that everyone started saying to one another even by listening those words the emperor felt very unhappy and also he knew that the people were right because he know that he was not he know that there is nothing on him there is means the cloth uh, the weavers which they said was not true even he also knew that but he has to continue he had to continue the procession that's why but the procession had to go on so though the emperor knew that the people were right he had nothing on but the procession because the procession has to get continued he didn't say anything so i think you have understood till here there are some hard words for you keenly procession scissors stitched needles trousers mirror and your home assignment is write hard words in your notebooks students i have given you hard words write them neatly in your notebooks without any spelling mistakes and also learn the spellings of the hard words we will be completing the remaining part of the lesson in the next session thank you have a good day